This was the final day of my three-day trip on the AT in Connecticut. If you missed the other two episodes, I've left a link in the description below. Down to about uh, down to about 29 degrees last night. Not too bad. Uh, shared the campsite with a bunch of Boy Scouts last night. They were uh, pretty awesome. Offered me some food. down there and the scouts are just doing their final check for trash. It's time for me to hit the road and get out in front of them. Definitely a good group of scouts there, both boys and girls, two different troops. The, I guess the scouts now are co-ed, but they have separate troops. And this group was from Darien, Connecticut. They were kind and generous. They were a little noisy, but it was all good fun. I was happy to be here with them. down from Silver Hill now. The uh, scout troop is uh, not too far behind me. It shouldn't be long before I get to the first road and then things will kind of level out. downhill from the campsite. We're now on the Houstonic Riverbank. This is River Road. We'll rejoin it later on. Let's check it out. been about an hour since I left camp. I covered two miles, decent pace considering it's all downhill and flat. I should probably be able to do better. I'm just taking it easy, enjoying the morning. It's about 40 degrees. Got about an hour and a half worth of hiking to do to get back to the car. Didn't do much filming this morning in camp because of all the scouts. But I did manage to try something new for breakfast this morning, which was the Mountain House granola. And I actually liked it, it was pretty good. It's really simple, you add a half a cup of cold water, mix it up, and then you eat it. So uh, it's like having uh, like a granola cereal. And I thought it was great. I like it better than the uh, other Mountain House breakfast meals I've tried. One thing that came in very helpful on this trip is I brought myself some earplugs. I don't normally use them, but occasionally when you get in a group, or there are other folks around, there might be a snorer in the group. And uh, well, some of the leaders, I think you know who you are, they were snoring pretty loud last night, so I definitely put them in.
Well, you can see the sun is out and the temperature's warmed up to an amazing 45 degrees. It's actually pretty pleasant because it's not too windy right now. I really like the way the sun is filtering through the trees here. I probably don't say this enough, but I really do enjoy reading and responding to your comments or questions. So please remember to leave a note down below and I'll get back to you. Well, that's gonna wrap up three days and two nights on the Appalachian Trail from Kent to West Cornwall. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you out here on the trail. All right, I wasn't gonna do it last night or the night before last, but I came back here to make sure my footsteps connect